and I want to we've got a finished design, and now we're ready to move forward. First, let's export. Personally, my favorite way is exporting as a PDF. It's simple and reliable. So how do you properly export a PDF for print? Let's go through it. My design includes images, text, background elements, and colors. Here's how to export it as a PDF. All right, the first thing I always do is convert the fonts to outlines. This ensures the text appears exactly as intended. That way, there are no font issues later on, especially if someone opens the PDF in Illustrator. To avoid any missing fonts or layout problems, it's always best to outline your text before exporting. So, you can go to select, sorry, to type, then to create outlines, or you can simply use the shortcut command plus shift plus O, or control plus shift plus O for those using Windows devices on your keyboard. All right, by simply clicking create outlines, I'll be done with the fonts issue, or the fonts in my file. Okay, now I'll do save as. I'll do a save as to create a separate version of the file. Let's say I'm saving it to the desktop, just to keep it easy to find and work with later. All right, let's name it PDF1, for example, and then I'll go here to Format and choose PDF. But I'm not done yet, because there are still some settings inside that I need to adjust. Okay. Installation pressure. All right, now. I have multiple options or choices for PDF, so I prefer the best one, which is high quality print or quality. But I prefer the top one because it's called high quality print, it gives you. This one has high resolution and gives you colors in a suitable way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the best format for printing. So let's say, high quality print now, there's something very important that I've mentioned before in my previous videos which is the topic of the bleed. I mean, here on my page, you can see the red line. This red line is the bleed area for the cutting process during printing, which gives you extra space or a larger margin. The image should have a bleed of three millimeters or two millimeters, depending on what's suitable for the printer you're using, so that when they cut the paper, it doesn't happen that you see white edges or white shows up on the edge of the poster or the flyer. Okay, so I go here to the Use Document Bleed Settings option. If I select Use Document Bleed Settings, it will apply the bleed you've chosen here or the bleed you've set within your design. Or, if you want, you can choose it yourself. Let's say, for example, 2 millimeters or 1 millimeter, depending on what works for you. But I prefer that you just select Use Document Bleed Settings and that's it. All right, we're done with that topic. Okay. And now here, I always have the PDF version set to, let's say, the well-known 1.4 version, which is commonly used between printing or editing programs like Kodak Preps or InDesign. So you can raise it if you want. I mean, if you're using, for example, uh, very advanced features in the program or. But I always prefer to keep it as is. Uh, the program, okay, I just hit save like this. All right, now it's performing the save process for the file. Let's check it out together. Okay, so I've done it like this. Uh, this is the first method or the correct way to export the file for printing as a PDF.